Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. If today is your first day, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button whenever I upload a new video so you can be notified. In today's recipe, we are baking vanilla sponge cake. I used my missing bowl to miss a vanilla cake later on, so I didn't wash it. I just leave it since I'm going to carry on doing this video of this sponge cake. So as you can see, everything needs to be in the fridge temperature, guys. All the ingredients you are going to be using for this recipe is going to be on the fridge temperature. Put your missing bowl on the scale. Then you put your butter. Yeah, I got 250 grams of butter, which is one cup of butter. Addition of my eggs, that is going to be five medium eggs. So you're going to end up having 250 grams of eggs. So you just want to break it one after the other. You don't want to break everything together and put inside. You might have bad eggs. So are you going to turn everything out? So I recommend you break one after the other, the way I'm doing it. In case when you have bad egg or the chef. So you can use any of your choice of your vanilla. I'm using the type of vanilla here. So any of your choice you can use, guys. And I also got sugar, 125 gram. You can use 150 or 200. I love my cake to be typical. I don't want it to be too that sweet. So I'm using 125 gram, guys, for this recipe. 125 gram of sugar. Now I'm chiving my flour. Always chive your flour for you to end up having a good result. It's 250 gram of flour. You can see was that was two S's. I'm trying to bring out the S's. 250 gram of flour. I will chive that. Now I'm gonna put that in the missy bowl with the whisk. Start missing it on the low speed on the misa. I will just miss that for two minutes. Yeah, I'm just trying to stay beside it. Miss it for two minutes. Then you take up your misa. Then just scrape around, scrape it around thoroughly very well. They carry on, scrape it proper, like to the down, the bottom. You know, this everything is a sponge cake. It's not going to be like fluffy. So it's very so thick. So you need to just use your spatula to turn it very well before you add your milk. It's optional if you want to add milk, you don't want to add milk. Guys, I'm using all milk. It's from the fridge temperature. I'm having two tablespoons here. Now I'm bringing my baking pan. I'm going to spray that with quick release. It's optional. You can use butter to do that. Then you put your baking paper. But I prefer using this cake release. I just spray it on my baking pan. It's making pretty faster and it's easy to clean as, as you can see. I'm just trying to put everything on the misa, on the baking pan as you can see. So I'm just trying to make it uniform to just make it incorporate uniform the baking pan. Then create a middle on the O because you need a little middle on the O where the cake is cooking that so it can cover proper. Like just create a little bit hole as you can see. While you're doing this, guys, you must have preheat your oven on the highest degree your oven you go. Like I've preheat my oven. I've been baking since though before I started baking my first cake I did before. I preheated my oven. You need to preheat your oven for minimum 30 minutes. But this recipe you're doing is just 10 minutes, you are done with it. So before you start, you might need to bring it to your oven before you start preparing your ingredients. Now I'm going to put the cake in the oven with the other one I'm baking since. You just want to quickly do this in the twinkle of a minute. You just do it fast. You don't have to stay there for too long. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Just try it. Under 45 minutes, you are done doing this sponge cake, missing and baking. Guys, it's so, so yummy and delicious. You know, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification button and follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. This is the outcome.